title of the second presentation is the common and revolutionary praxis. Thank you. Uh, first, I want to thank to the members of the uh, Research Institute on Turkey uh, for organizing this panel and letting me participate in it. Uh, what I will share with you is some preliminaries of a theoretical work in progress. Uh, what I will uh, examine here is a notion, the common. Two different uh, questions have led me to opinion on, uh, on the common, uh, which I like to share with you first. One of these questions is, uh, how can we establish a revolutionary praxis within today's uh, alienated social relations? And the other one is, what does the common of communism mean? I claim uh, that the common bounds these two questions together. As the common of communism, it has the potentiality to be the basis of the revolutionary praxis, which aims to overcome alienation and to build a new society. To show that, I argue that the common has three, three aspects. It has to be conceived first as an idea, second as a, a process of subjectivity, and third as a new set of relations. My proposal for the definition of the common will be the uni unity of these three moments. I claim that we should define this notion from a broader perspective than it has already been done. Instead of defining the common only as an uh, economic notion in relation to the results of the development uh, of the immaterial labor, it has to be taken into account as a unity of ideas and practices aiming to go beyond capital, capitalism. The common is defined as the labor put it in communication, such as language, affection, knowledge, and information lately. And it is evaluated by Michel Hart as collective productive resource that is not property and as, uh, quote, the foundation of biopolitical production that we have before us, upon which communism has to be built as an ethical political construction. And it emphasizes that, quote, through the in increasing centrality of the common in pro capitalist production, the production of ideas, effects, social relations, and forms of life, uh, are emerging the conditions of human uh, liberation. And I believe that these ideas about the common raised by Hart and other autonomous Marxists are influential in understanding of the common as a present sprout of com communism. But at the same time, they come up short in understanding the common as the mediator between alienated relations of today's society and uh, free society because they limit it uh, with immaterial uh, labor. And by doing that, they fail to conceive the common of communism is a relation which brings the people and different spheres of society back together, but by healing the breach created by alienation. My aim here is uh, to show that the common is the base for the proletariat to win the class struggle against the capitalists and build the future society, namely communist society. The future is contained in present. It means that our anticipated future, the communist societies, as a potential in present society, in today's alienated social relations. By redefining the common as a bringing people and their powers and needs back together and creating a whole new set of social relations, we will be able to see it as the mediator between the alienated capitalist world and communism. The common as an idea and as a process could be the basis of actualizing the sprouts of communism which are already present in our society. Thus, I believe that we should begin to think on the common by dealing with our present society which is formed by alienated social relations. Therefore, we should begin with alienation. As it is well known, alienation theory has two major components. The first one is uh, thoughts on the human nature, and the second one is the examination of the alienated labor and its uh, social effects. According to Mezeros, uh, Marx, Marx describes human beings as uh, self-mediating beings of nature. As opposed uh, to other theories on human nature, uh, Marx, Marx conceptualization claims that it is non-fixed, it is made. It is made by human self-transcending productive activity. 
by gratifying their natural powers and needs, people build complex social relations which constitute their nature and become conscious of them. Uh, therefore, uh, we can summarize that uh, productive activity, sociality, and intellectuality are basic parts of historical for formed uh, human nature. Marxist theory is uh, its uh, recognition of alienation. It exposes that at certain point of history, beginning with a uh, division of labor, uh, human nature takes a different form. Reaching its highest level in capitalist area, era, uh, social relations become alienated. Alienation has four different aspects. These are man's alienation from his productive activity, from his uh, product from his fellow men and from his species. These four aspects give us uh, the story of modern man in capitalist society who, by selling his labor power to the capitalists, and to externalize his basic human powers, gets separated from the products of his cre creation. In addition to that, he is to be controlled uh, by his products and, and he also becomes a commodity himself, and so he loses the features uh, which make himself human. His competition with other workers and conflict with the capitalists separates him uh, from the society. There are some Marxist groups who claim that the theory of uh, alienation in inherits uh, only moral and humanist uh, critique and uh, impute an, uh, a historical um, metaphysical uh, essence to human beings. They claim that symbolic uh, intellectual labor and affective labor, affective labor, which deals with feelings and attributes, cannot be understood with old Hegelian notions like alienation. And I think since uh, 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 Sayers uh, does a great job uh, where he opposes these groups and says that even though immaterial labor doesn't create material products, and even though it doesn't realize uh, uh, it doesn't realize value through production, uh, but uh, distribution, exchange, uh, marketing, and etc., uh, it creates necessary social conditions for capitalist production. He also shows that all labor has an immaterial as well as a material aspect. For all labor takes place in a context of uh, social relations. In altering the material world, labor at the same time sustains and alters uh, these social relations. In the, in the process, it affects, creates and alters subjectivities. All labor, it must be stressed, does this. It's, it is not peculiar to a separate, special sort of immaterial labor or a bio, biopolitical activity alone. Therefore, we can stress that alienation still exists and should be laid bare and explained. Since I have no time and no space uh, here to accomplish uh, this explanation fully, uh, I will only stress out one important thing. Alienation is not simply a sum of specific explo exploitation uh, processes. It is also uh, cr the creation of men as subjects. It is people's loss of their subjectivity of their lives, and at the same time, their subjection uh, to the accumulation process of capital. Whereas it uh, separates them uh, from their relations with nature and society, it constitutes them as subjects of uh, the logic of capital. Therefore, it is not possible to get out elimination unless the uh, uh, social relations in their whole are changed. As Sires uh, suggests, without liberating the appropriation from the limits of ownership and utility, uh, without, without uh, turning uh, the capitalistic productive uh, activity into uh, self-realizing activity, making possible of uh, creation of men through human labor, and ending uh, economic fetishism and bring social and economic relations back under uh, co conscious social control, that won't be possible. Uh, so far, I uh, wanted to explain what uh, alienation is and uh, also wanted to express that it still exists and can only be removed by fully achieved <laughs> communism. 
where the above mentioned uh, conditions are reached, uh, where also uh, the misbegotten uh, parts of human nature reunify. And uh, at this point, the common begins to appear as the answer of the questions I raised at the beginning. The common, as it is the common of communism, uh, is the basis of action of proletariat against the reign of capitalist relations. And it is the bridge which should be built by proletariat from capitalist societies to the future communist society. To demonstrate uh, my claim, I shall uh, discuss this, uh, this notion a little further. As I mentioned at the beginning of my presentation, the common has three aspects. The first one is the idea of the common. The idea of the common actually refers to the consciousness of people about the common's meaning and importance for the revolutionary process. And therefore, it is not something completely different uh, from uh, what we are, uh, what I'm uh, trying to do from the beginning. In uh, addition to that, it also constitutes the intellectual and uh, practical point where we posit ourselves during our critique of alienation and generating our strategy to achieve what is extracted from us. The consciousness, which is named as the idea of the common, inherits two major components. The first one is uh, already present. It is the determination that alienation still exists, takes new forms as the capitalism evolves, and uh, can only be overthrown by communism. The second one is the consciousness about the praxis, praxis uh, which is needed to achieve, uh, needed to achieve communism. No breach uh, from the existing conditions can occur from now, and it is also doesn't occur in a positivistic way, as a fulfillment uh, of a presupposed and uh, projected end. Uh, such a bre breach or leap, uh, as we call it, revolution, can occur only from a framework of uh, processes and uh, relations <coughs> through which we can uh, produce a breakup with current relations by reclaiming what alienation extracted from us. By reclaiming our human attributes and unifying us with uh, nature and society as free subjects. I call such a framework of processes and uh, relations to come. Well, uh, now uh, I want to focus on these two aspects of the come. The dialectics uh, between them can be uh, summarized as precondition and result. Within the uh, revolutionary practice based on the common, they begin to condition each other as uh, both preconditions and results uh, reciprocal. Uh, reciprocal. To together, uh, they start to change the current conditions and create new economic, political, and ideological tendencies toward communism. This can be understood easily if we separate them, uh, the process aspect and uh, the relational aspect, analytically, and begin with the process aspect. Uh, I will call this aspect a uh, commoning process. The most known part of this uh, process is economic uh, commoning. Appropriating objects uh, which can, can't be uh, property of uh, uh, private subjects is uh, one example of this. A more complex and progressive one is uh, the commoning of uh, urban and rural species, uh, liberating them uh, from property relations. As theorists like Hart and Rogero uh, puts out growing importance of uh, immaterial labor is a new dimension of economic common. And uh, it's a process uh, where workers of this kind of jobs uh, produce together. Another part of the commoning process is political common. Uh, this type of commoning appears when people come together and start organizing themselves around their uh, experience and interests uh, of economic common. Unions and worker collectives are examples of that sort of process. Collective forms and squads uh, can also be traded as examples of them. Uh, these are uh, historical examples of uh, political communion, but it's hard to say that uh, so far, so far uh, specific examples of economic and uh, political organizations act according to the idea of the common in a way I described. Uh, of course, they act with some sort of uh, consciousness about uh, what they are doing. But it is obvious that we are not successful uh, with showing that they are uh, at the same side of a uh, class struggle. And uh, we are also not successful with uh, interviewing these movements into a, a united revolutionary practice. 
The notion of common I'm proposing here is actually a project and it aims to generate a process in which a shared consciousness and organization for different sects of uh, proletariat are created and uh, autonomous uh, movements are conjoined together. To accomplish this, I suggest that we need to bring, uh, bring uh, together uh, and reorganize the collective forms of proletarian organization, organizations as also uh, unorganized people around them, uh, which are uh, spurs of communism, as I said before, and uh, so that all participants uh, of these collectives, unions, political parties, and etc., starts to relate themselves uh, with the society and nature again. This also means uh, we need to create new relations as a, a result of uh, this common, uh, real, uh, common reorganizing process. And this uh, brings up the uh, aspect of relation. Every relationship has its uh, objective and subjective sides. And to create a new set of uh, relationships, uh, the common process needs to bring out a new kind of subjectivity. Therefore, uh, reorganizing the relations between the members of a uh, common process and recreating new relations between men and society goes hand in the hand. Uh, this aspect of co the common, uh, the relational aspect, is determined uh, with the progress we make in a uh, class struggle and with the progress we make in recreating as subjects of our own powers and needs. Therefore, it shows the negation of alienation. Another feature of the uh, relational aspect is uh, with each progress uh, people made in consciousness of the common or common process, they produce new needs and also new opportunities in order to uh, uh, the revolutionary process to proceed. That means uh, new relations needs to be established and old conditions must be altered further. So it is clear that at one point, we will reach a historical state where overcoming alienation and uh, creation of a uh, communist society will demand a revolution. A revolution in which we dance and uh, able to develop our uh, common existence, the common proof. Thank you. Thank you for uh, this great uh, presentation. Now, the floor is open for questions, comments. Discussions. Yeah, actually, okay. so, <laughs> actually is to try to uh, arise. Inter, uh, people. Would there be a description like also for other So why now there are limited actually, you know, the uh, movement of June, like one of them, also HTV's uh, political movement. To uh, some kind of would we actually kind of optimal organization for people of Turkey? Okay. We can continue by answering. Okay. Uh, I think we can start, but I think. Creating an optimistic scenario. I'm talking about an optimistic scenario because there's, there's a little movement needed for that scenario to be achieved. But we, we can, not only, but we can just for the sake of continuity, we can start with easy, easy part, easy pricing, or June pricing. June pricing creates an important uh, consciousness about what, what they call, what, for example, Coca Cola called direct democracy, uh, a new direct democracy, or we can say we can say we can talk about the bold terms, and they are true. Uh, there is a representative representativity crisis in capitalism. That's a lot of crisis. Uh, so, uh, 
people around the world trying to find the new organizations to have representative, representative. They are trusting the priority, not my Congress, they are not trusting the others, but they watch for their pragmatic and the short term aims and etc. Of course, most, most the parliamentaries and the Congress and etc. But they don't have the ability to self government themselves. They feel it and so they search for a new ways of organization. This was an interesting uh, event that reminds this point again to us. So for not for the democratic forms, but the, the consciousness ways against uh, after forms was important. Certainly we have to uh, and they were not actually just against the totalitarian regime and etc. The totalitarian regime is continuous. This, this is one support. This is one major feature for an optimal thing. Of what, what they do. Uh, as far as I can think, is the common and is the forums and is the representative uh, organizations and etc. And also, the only case, for example, there were factory occupation and factory occupation, not as itself, but as of its effects and its, some of the consequences, created an interesting uh, environment to people about thinking about the occupation of the factory, not only of the factory, but thinking about other things, maybe self government, maybe self management factories. And this is important, uh, for example, let's think about two important ways that actually occur. One of them is occurring. One of them is metal workers' strike. They went to strike. Even so called revolutionary union didn't do anything about that. Now he is holding the chief of the ocean. Or the other thing is, now he is holding about intervention in some of the automobile workers. Yes. And also, the second is automobile union workers' uh, movement. Uh, for the first two, two or three days, there are some, some periodical events like that in, in times of uh, contract, uh, uh, in, in terms of contract with the uh, automobile employees, employees uh, in periodically sometimes they don't kill in Turkey. Uh, the workers uh, rejected their Yellow Union, and they went to another Union. But this time they don't have anywhere to go. They don't accept to go to so called revolutionary Union. They don't accept to go to the old Yellow Union. They say they are Haram, they are from Haram, that is their workers, and we want to just organize against this Union, and we want to kill them. That's it. In fact, I mean, a, a, a presentation of the presentativity increase. So, uh, there, there are some spots raising uh, from the ground, and this ground has an important activity for self organization. I don't know which, for example, the United Movement of Jew has, has and will have some effects on that self organization. That will be all through sectarian tendencies that, as in the forums, uh, every group, political group, try to uh, be. I'm going to dominate some of the forums, but these forums were actually self management of organizations that the people have to be presented to them. You don't have to explain some of them, but there must be a presentation. So, uh, of course, there, there can be some kind of representative things. Uh, so, I don't know about the optimal description, but these supports are, I think, I think they're very important. Of the future of Turkey in, in either two ways. One is a catastrophic way that people's party cannot reach, cannot reach the person to chance, cannot answer the uh, PDP, mostly because of the storm was, I thought, if there is something like that, uh, and to the dictators of the ATP and Iran government, maybe. And the, in a, in a more optimistic way, if HDP uh, goes into the parliament, then we have to get, think about central organization. But one question is interesting for me. And I, I think I, I want to discuss with you if you find this interesting also. 
Por isso, o irmão de Oro, do Grosso, ou do Prisma do Mundo, é estranho que dá em clientes aqui em forma do Pote, do Irmão de Oro. Uh, of course, the party, which we shall have no real party, which we may be a bit more proud of, in fools, it was a last time of the economy at the end of the fools, but it goes further in some and at the concrete situation, raised a lot of interesting possibilities. And I think that I suggest that this is interesting for the HDP, I think people started to talk also. If there is an opportunity to go into the parliament, HTTP is now, you, you, you know, the, all, all, all the narrative about HTTP, HTTP also knows that. He went to the European, he went to the European Union, I talked about local governments, autonomy, local governments. He, he always spoke about that, he or she, he or she, or she. The party talks about that, but the base is more dynamic. The base, in, the ways I think the ways of the party, I mean the ways of the party, concludes most workers part, workers class, and the generations of workers in Turkey, because in Turks and so the new class tax base and the capital and falls into the authoritarian movement of the Arab and AKP governments. But this place has some interesting will have some interesting potentials. The leadership of HDP, in some ways, maybe the party will not do so. We talk about something like, yes, we want to have instead of autonomy in the municipal division, etc., etc., but this could transform very differently in the base of the party. I think I also, there's a possibility like that. Not this will all cause, not, not HDP will buy, you know, perhaps have no effect. But there, there will be some interesting possibility if this is so. If this is not, if there is a catastrophic way, then anyway, this will be an you know, only way to go on. Because there will be no harsh depression in that conditional condition, or well, very good harsh depression uh, by our AGP. Uh, so the self organization self Of course, there are some ones in the HDP 
We'll talk about yes, you have to know your self or you have to be represented itself or many people they can say hey, you have to be representative of musicals, but the base will be more dynamic and and as the possibilities. That's the optimistic thing, but yeah, you have to organize it. You have to be organized. Uh, I'm going to present a uh, question, pose a question. It is a program of uh, 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 equality in, in the national question. Um, uh, uh, the uh, and, uh, and some decentralization in uh, uh, the, the political sphere in the administrative sphere has uh, made concessions has allowed uh, the uh, uh, made concessions to uh, the Turkish capital and has neglected the economic. Uh, 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 and there has also caused some divisions uh, because of this. Uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, I, I don't know about HTP. Uh, the BDP, uh, uh, for example, uh, pro the, the European Union, why? Because European Union has a liberal cultural policy, not cultural program, because that's the only way that they do it. Not Europe, so, but uh, this also entails, uh, brings in uh, uh, it, uh, the uh, economic policies of uh, the European Union, which uh, uh, favor uh, 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 unbridled. Uh, Agree with your argument exactly on this type of situation because uh, our 
он нас практически не столько много разных. Some kind of, there would be no change if this is, if it's 
the computers like that. But in Russia, in the previous party, you are true, and I also agree that this economic creation is a side effect. They took things as something like a side effect. So we don't think about the business of the production. Do they have to change their minds? I'm scared about it because it's, it's a, as you say, as a nation, a party, a nation, determination, some kind of right there. And we have right to criticize that. We are too much close to European projects, local government act, and the other stuff. Just for that reason, I just try to be optimistic and try to uh, focus on the base, not the party. The management has said it's a base. Of course, there is the possibility, and most probably, maybe, that the party management can talk about these local government municipalities after the meetings. But this will not be easy to implement these policies. I mean, in some Kurdish communities. Even in Europe, for example, May in May Day, as far as I'm aware, people from this party supported the name May Day, joined it, participated in it. But there was not the workers of Kurdish workers that are working in the rest of the time. Why? Because the PDP supporting. Uh, supporting employees of these hospitals does not didn't permit them to go to the main. So this contradiction will be at the process for the uh, but there will be some possibilities when the HDP says moving to the Rojava, moving to the Rojava, Rojava see you at the South Cover. And in that condition, yes, workers of the Construction workers and Kurdish construction workers and Turkish construction workers, for example, they are associated with the Kurdish association like that. They say that, yeah, we have to have self government. In Soma, we want to self government and uh, watch the human rights and social security conditions and working conditions. And, and yes, we have self government. We want to self organize. Uh, but you cannot say anything, and this would be an important thing. The narrative will change when we do grassroots. As in Russia, for example, democratic autonomy was a small kind of liberal thing. When Russia was the Balkan, he was looking at the American uh, regime. Uh, and it's just popular assumptions or something. But when it comes to a war zone, in a cruel region, it changed into something different. Not at all the radical revolution, I think, but something different, and it's, it was important. It, it is different than the other and the other Turkish cities, Kurdish in Turkey, in Turkey, but uh, it will also it can be different. But there's a possibility, there's a possibility like that. So, thank you for the question. Uh, thank, uh, thank you uh, for your contribution. It, uh, it uh, will uh, help uh, to cl clarify uh, a point I tried to make. Uh, um, the economic and uh, separation of economic and uh, political uh, spheres from each other uh, is actually a historical uh, separation, and it is uh, brought up uh, brought up by uh, capitalism itself. Uh, as uh, it makes us want to do correct hacking. Um, and, uh, uh, and, and this separation is uh, an obstacle uh, to revolutionary politics of proletariat. And uh, the uh, economic and uh, political uh, basis of communing processes I referred uh, in my uh, presentation uh, well, was uh, historical uh, examples. Um, and uh, they, these examples uh, are forced to follow uh, the separation uh, uh, brought uh, before them uh, by capitalism. And it, they become, uh, they follow, uh, uh, and it's the story of their uh, unsuccessfulness. Uh, so um, I try to, uh, uh, I try to define the uh, common, uh, uh, so that uh, it uh, transcends this um, separation. Uh, what I 
trying to suggest was uh, by reclaiming uh, powers and needs of human beings, uh, we, we uh, can uh, close the gap uh, between people and society and nature uh, created by uh, capitalism, by alienation. And uh, it's very uh, really crucial uh, that we bring um, economical and political uh, aspects of uh, so social uh, relations back together. And um, this is actually, uh, it's actually a, a precondition uh, to create a new kind of subjectivity, which we are, uh, I think, uh, 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 trying to create. Uh, because uh, because uh, subjects, because uh, human beings, uh, individuals uh, who produce and uh, who produce life and uh, uh, who, who manages their life, uh, produce it uh, uh, materially and uh, manage and rule it uh, politically and uh, uh, consciously. Uh, uh, there won't be a, a new kind of subject to that. And the communist uh, is suggestion uh, of uh, a basis to create it. The common. The common, yes. Uh, because it... Uh, uh, constitutes ideas and uh, relations. Essentially, that commons in one form or another have existed for many centuries, thousands of years. And it also seems to me that uh, they used to be more long lasting than they have been in modern times. Um, one of my favorite ones, kind of the five Obviously, that one was crushed. But there have been other experiences in one way or another. Uh, they tend to come and go. Uh, there have been more recent examples, for instance, in Brazil, the Workers' Party, before it came to power, um, exercised some sort of political economy self management, uh, unifying itself between these squatters and uh, self terra movement. And so, to make a long story short, what goes wrong and what kind of measures can be put into place to make sure that they run? Or is it perhaps um, bound to fail from the start and there must be some other way of approaching the issue? Or human emancipation or whatever? I guess that's your time. What could be important? <laughs> so, for example, I'm trying to have the Paris Commune, uh, actually, I'm also the Paris Commune, just because I told you, I knew I'm going to have the Paris Commune.
But they will mostly enjoy enjoy it. And talk their mind. The others are some kind of kind of publicizing the effect of two or small call of means. And this is not an external. And this just not, not just by like technology, but also production increase and the changing composition of capacity. We can enable these new types and new generations of better so that so called bad technologies of the human class. A lot has to be done. They are now trying to run contract in universities, and they are working in very rapid conditions. We made some of them working in contracts and tell us about the rounds of the engineers that are here to go. So it's a lot of consciousness that they need to enter networks and the other stuff. I think you you have done that uh, when you uh, mentioned the uh, autonomous existence, and I think it's already getting questions. At least uh, I <laughs> I can try to uh, answer that uh, by using some uh, giving uh, terms. Um, this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, let's start with uh, this autonomous existence of uh, communes like the, the, such uh, organization, organizations. Um, first, again, uh, term I will use is uh, their uh, uh, con contradictory existence. Um, uh, we can uh, we can um, uh, represent uh, the autonomous uh, organizations like um, an umbrella. Uh, 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 you are um, free under this uh, umbrella. Uh, you can uh, uh, define yourself. Uh, you can act uh, freely. You can uh, build uh, solidarity uh, relations, uh, but it is a finite uh, freedom because uh, the harsh uh, climate uh, uh, continues to exist uh, uh, around uh, the, uh, outside of the uh, umbrella area uh, and uh, in this uh, autonomous existence uh, creating as an, uh, creating an uh, shield uh, uh, is its um, it's, it's a richness and also it's lim limit uh, as you uh, mentioned uh, because uh, it's uh, can't uh, uh, transcend the holity which is another uh, Hegelian, uh, Hegelian term um, and, uh, and uh, Gramsci's uh, story uh, Antonio Gramsci's story is a great example of it uh, uh, after the uh, after the retreatment of uh, 1921 and 22 uh, uprisings of Turin uh, against uh, autonom uh, the automatic uh, workers uh, uh, resistance uh, uh, after the defeat of that, uh, the, uh, he he uh, conce uh, conceptualized uh, some um, uh, relations like, like uh, hegemony and the historical bond. Uh, he he he. he he saw the importance of uh, transforming the um, polity and uh, from uh, be, uh, saw the importance of uh, stepping uh, on uh, the finite uh, and uh, going to uh, the infinite, the whole of society. He, he taught uh, how uh, uh, industrial workers of that uh, period uh, can uh, um, create hegemony and uh, Against uh, again support of the uh, southern uh, workers of rural areas. Like 
uh, limit the potential of being organized or colonizing. If there is such an impact on this uh, point, so how can we overcome those uh, things? Well, it, it limits it, I believe, uh, during the, uh, uh, during the uh, president, presidential elections in Turkey. But uh, nowadays, uh, some uh, new tendencies uh, occur uh, to uh, go beyond the limit these limitations, like uh, uh, ondan sonra, uh, maybe you have heard it. Uh, so people uh, uh, try, uh, people uh, I think uh, find ways, uh, alternative ways uh, to organize themselves uh, uh, by uh, using uh, elections. Uh, actually, uh, uh, they give uh, their support uh, to. A specific uh, party, uh, HPV, uh, but uh, at the same time uh, they uh, announce uh, their own uh, own uh, demands and uh, um, uh, acquire, uh, they acquire, uh, get support from uh, uh, people who, who are also uh, not uh, fully. Um, and engaged uh, with uh, ex established political parties. Uh, I think uh, I, I think uh, social phenomena uh, shouldn't be treated like um, uh, absolutely uh, limiting or anything uh, else. We can always uh, uh, yes, we are uh, li living in uh, alienated uh, social through alienated social relations, but we can always uh, create uh, or start to create uh, uh, new relations. Uh, I believe, it, as human beings, we have this potential. Maybe it's useful to
Thank you for coming today, joining this. 